All done. Come and eat. You really do eat through that mask of yours, huh? I'm impressed you can manage so well. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. You get used to it after a while. Still, I'm glad we decided to stop and fill our stomachs. I've got a newfound respect for cooking now. But I guess that's easy when you're used to eating everything raw. It would have been perfect if it had any flavor. Sorry it didn't live up to your palate. Oh, no, that wasn't a knock on you. I was just... Sorry, that's not how I should thank you for cooking for me. You've got me curious now. Is it just pain you can't sense, or are your taste buds shot too? Oh, sure, my taste buds work fine. Although, apparently what I like tends to be a little out there. How so? What's so unusual about what you eat? Well, one time I couldn't get enough of these things I picked off a plant, but everyone else said they were way too spicy. Doc thinks maybe I crave spicy food to compensate for the lack of pain I feel. Maybe it's best I take charge of the cooking. You know, just to be on the safe side. I can't guarantee it'll be to your tastes, though. I said I'm sorry. Look, I'll learn to tone down my tastes in the future, so let's just put that slip of the tongue behind us already. How's this? Thanks. Sorry for the side trip. We got to learn a new dish. I'll take what I can get, really. Let's cook it next time we make camp. Is that why she went along with this? Barely a blip on our radar. Die! Oh. 
I'm only getting close. Mega Ray! Rising up! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. You think it might be useful? We should try it and see how it turns out. There's no point in reading it unless you plan on making it. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. We're in good form! Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Mm-hmm.
Hmm? Right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She'd better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night, after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of times passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first.
I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. What? Good. Using Zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before the occupation. That's for sure. You don't think the Snake Eyes will hold it against them, do you? If anything, the warmth might help loosen them up. Okay. We've reached our destination. Barely a blip on our radar. Fix 
You picked the wrong fight! Let's go with the <sighs> Looks like we won. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. We've got the ingredients. Let's get them back to Messia. Any injuries? in trouble here well let's see what they have to say <laughs> yeah okay by the way Yeah. What's wrong? Ugh. Really? Ah! Sure. <laughs> hey.
Right. Nice work. What? Hey! Well? Boy, talk about a spry old man. I can't wait to see him again. You really liked that apple pie, didn't you? What's wrong? Yes! <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey! Hmm? <laughs> Right. Nice work.
<laughs> right. No way. I don't believe this! Great! Very nice! What? Yes. Law. Yeah. Whoa. Is that? Oh, this is bad. Real bad. Ah! Just great. Yes! Man, that was amazing! No wonder the old man was so gung-ho about it. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Shion? You've got sauce on your face.
Are you all right with this? He killed your brother after all. He did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> so after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danan guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenegas and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents, side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. That makes sense. She did just lose her brother after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danans and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. 
I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Magal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elderman and Sia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a Lord anyway. Well... This crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds. What's wrong? <sighs> All right. 
right. What the? Good. Oh, yeah? Hmm. How's this? All right. Yes. Over there. Huh? Yes. All right.
Yes! All right. <sighs> By the by, Xion, if you don't mind my asking, would you be willing to share what sort of clothes are currently in fashion on Rena sometime? Sure. As long as you call me Captain. Sir, yes sir, Captain Xion. I was just joking. Kinda has a nice ring to it though. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Oh! I guess. All right. <laughs> How's this? Oh! How's this? <laughs> Thanks. How <clears throat> I was wondering why she'd gone quiet. She's still eating. Is that so? You don't say. How? I see. Sure. 
sure. Nice work. Oh? Very nice. Well? Yes! What? What? I don't believe this! All right? No. Sure. Really now? What? Yes! <laughs> well, that was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like.
There's no point in reading it unless you plan on making it. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Are you stuck on that too? No, really. I kind of see where they're coming from. Are you okay with anything as long as it's round and flies? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Ah, 
guess I misread the landing. A comfortable win. Ah, the spray from this waterfall feels so good. Seriously, makes the sweat I worked up getting here They're all worth it. Don't get too wet now, you two, or else you'll catch a cold. Onward and upward. Is that the Zugul we're looking for? Retreat if you know what's good for you! I never miss! Here I come! Dance. Ready to win! Eagle of the power of water! Be careful, Eagle everyone! Time. This Ready one isn't normal! I'm just getting yeah. to do it! Pesky airborne scoundrel who put you yourself like in just behind us! Uh, I'll be right as brain in no time! Do it! Blow! Hey! Blow them away! Ha <laughs> ha! Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Well then, let's keep moving. That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. Looks like we made it here in one piece. <laughs> yeah! No! <laughs> you did it! Making a Zoogle sign, we should be making a Hoodle sign. Ah, 
She's feeling threatened by a rival. Going out for us. They could have something they need from us. <sighs> oh? What? Yes! What? Yes! Yes! Hmm? <sighs> nice! Got it. Just a minute. Nice. 
<laughs> Alpin! She owns stuffing bread with Mabo curry! <laughs> now I can eat this every day. Jeez, Shion, you're hooked on that stuff. I sense a poor soul who is in dire need. Sounds like our cue to step... No way. All right? You don't say. Stay calm. Perhaps you shouldn't have gotten your hopes up. I felt moved by people whose love transcended the boundaries of race. I wanted to hope. I can see why you'd feel that way, I suppose. Finally! If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Hello. <sighs> I see.
Oh? I see. Yeah. But why Voron's whereabouts? Don't they know where their own sovereign is? Considering we've come across him the world over, he's likely been operating on his own for a while now. Maybe even his own subordinates were just toys to him. Looks like we made it here in one piece. <laughs> no way. Sure. Hmm. Agreed. I must say, I wasn't expecting you to be the one to spoil their reunion. Well, uh, it was the same with Alfin and Shion. Too much affection can be hard to bear. In fact, you look sort of pleased, Dohalim. I have the privilege of witnessing their new start together. Few things can mar such joy. What if it were you? What indeed. to get here faster. Somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who need. Hmm. Why? Huh. Oh. Yes. Thank you. 
My thanks. Impressed. You're making promises too freely. And that last exchange. Niaz is beset with grief. As a responsible Renan, it falls to me to extend my hand. I don't think it should be your burden to take on. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see. Those 
three seem to get along so well. Was it really right for them to separate? It was his choice, and he ultimately chose the lady over his friend. I can only hope this helps her in her recovery. So then... Hmm... <laughs> My thanks. I can't believe Deadeye was caring for these owls. Maybe he really was a nice guy once. People are not born immutable. They change. And not always for the better. <sighs> this time it was for the better, though. Indeed.
the hell is that thing? Probably that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy... We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know. Oh, if you need healing. Here it comes. Focus. On your toes, everyone. Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared. Focus up before we become that thing's lunch. It's summoning Zoogle? Take care of them while keeping an eye on... Easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to I stop. I can carve through armor. Here I go. Go. Come on. Just get it done. Mind if I do? A thrilling performance. Go get him. Fire up. Armor won't save us. On you. Here and now. There. There's no room. Mega ray. Take this. Take this. Mega ray. It's wide open. It won't escape me. Carve through armor. This 
one's mine! Yeah. Uh, Reason gone! Let's bring it down! I'll heal you all! Hey. Heal him, Serpent! No! I won't give you! Surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you. Just please stay safe. <laughs> what a relief. Thanks for the healing. How are we watch yourself. To take okay. On yeah. So big. You too. I'll handle it. Just Elvis. watch and learn. That's enough. Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. We've reached our destination.
What's on the other side of this door, anyway? Why ask me when you can just open it and find out? Nice one, Alfin. Thanks. Gotta keep up with the competition. Personally, I prefer Bologna. My word. This must be the work of Providence. Prova what now? It means destiny. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, though. You sure he's not just trying to hide from us? I hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Okay. Hey. Okay. How? <laughs> oh. 
The fish could be dwindling even as we speak. Time is of the essence. Let's hurry. I think you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Okay, off... We you guys want to rest here? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. <sighs> Seriously? Here we go! Aww. Good grief. Remind me again why we're all getting soaking wet just to find some fishing hole? Shh! Some things are better left unquestioned. But... What? Something wrong? No, not at all. Gee, I wonder where that fishing hole could be. Ready Let's see go. what we've got. I never miss. Let the can handle this. Eat in a vine. Pierce it. Pierce it. This one's mine. Uh, I'm ready. Really we got my the nerves. Good. I won't. We just have to make sure we keep it. Don't worry. Do it. No. on. Pretty well. Light burst force. Radiant Genesis. Let's do it. Burn. Reload. Negative game. Target down. One more. Seal it. Back I'm ready. Come on. Light, Light burst force. Radiant Genesis. Well then, I should probably think about tonight's menu. Long enough to regret these. Damn it! Lay it back! Not on my watch! I'm a king! Burn up! Burning? I'm a king! 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 i am a king i am these fists have got your name on them! There! Don't well, mind if I do! Call. You're not! First strike! Ten! Hurricane! Capulinity! Here's the evil! There! Free Blanchard! Not for no no. Normal. I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Breath of there. life! Heal my weary companion! I'll finish you here and now! I'm grateful. I'm ready! Looks like you came to my rescue again. You need to be careful. With the blazing sword, and with my thorns. I'm sure. Damn it, Clay! Far enough! Try this! Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! Benediction light. Not today! I owe you one. I'm on it. Lightning! Double blade! Here is the healing arc! First aid! There you go! Shouldn't have messed with me! So weak! Quit pushing yourself and get behind us! I'll be right I'll crush you! 
Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Dragon Tower Firewatch! Fetch it! Why thank you, your lordship? Do it. And will you lay down your... Well, I mean, hey, let's not be hasty. I still got a ways to go. Careful. That's no ordinary Zoogle. Yep. Yeah. So this... Shut him down. Far enough. Lost my focus. <laughs> it's it's raining blobs of slime. Gross. I'll take out as many as I can. Dance in the wind. It's so I can carve through. Come on. Now, now let it burn. Magic is there. You require no further. No further. It's about to strike. Look sharp, everyone! I'm just a new Eagle Fly! Outstanding form! What's Holy Land! If it's in the sky, Anything in order is all mine! Burn it hell! Burn it hell! It's time to finish this! Consuming wildfire! I hope this thing is actually a fruit! Yes. Not in your dreams! Rolling fire! Okay, here I go. 
This is my fault. From beyond, imbue this vanquished soul with life. Resuscitation. Here, let me help. First aid. Okay, here I go. Ready. Confiscated. Will this help? Uh, that move. Here comes a big one. Take this! Oh, now you're rocking! Armor won't save you! Do it! Right in the shield! This one's got your name on it! Ashes to ashes! All right. Sure. All oh, right. Uh huh. <sighs> huh? What? Oh, wow! You dummy! I feel so gross and sticky after that fight. Tell me about it. We better hurry and get a bath and laundry going ASAP. Something new to eat? Yep. Now that we have all the ingredients. Hey. Alfin, what do you think of that chick over there doesn't look like she really works out I'm not talking about her muscles you dummy okay okay Good one. Uh. <laughs> uh. Good, good. All right. <laughs> good grief.
We have truly borne witness to a striking example of female determination this day. Yeah, you said it. Everything will be okay now. Yes. Hmm. Just great. How's this? Got it. Hey! Yay! All right.
how's this? What do you think of that chick over there? Doesn't look like she really works out. I'm not talking about her muscles, you dummy! Don't believe this! Good. Nice work. Ah! <laughs> but this is... Ha <laughs> 
Nice work. <laughs> okay! Finally! If only we could have flown with the wind to... Yes. Oh. Yay! What? Yes. We avoided getting roasted in that ring, but what we could really use is something to cap this off. Sure. Got any ideas on what would be good? Mabo curry. Fried bread stuffed with curry. You'd probably buy out the whole stock. We've reached our destination.
there. Perfect and tastes just as good. I'll see you again tomorrow. I couldn't eat another. Alfin, what do you think of that chick over there? Doesn't look like she re Huh? That can't be. I guess... And then she has to come along and... Hey, you're looking a little red there. You working up a fever or...? <sighs> you dummy! and get this stuff processed. Dohalim pancakes! Huh? Huh. Compassion and passion, always ready to boldly rescue anyone from the perils of the munchies. Delectable, ineffable Dohalim pancakes! Get them while they're hot! That's quite the sales pitch. 
This is all new to me as well, I assure you. Why, if it isn't Lord Dohalim himself! Care for a pancake, my lord? Might as well have some while we're here. Indeed. However, I'm not sure how I feel about eating my own visage in front of the populace. At least let me show you how to make them! I'll also teach you the most important part! How to draw Lord Dohalim! Oh, this sounds like pure gold. I'm game. <laughs> hey! We should make some pancakes right now! They were drawing Dohalim's face back there. That seems like a handy trick to keep in your back pocket. The recipe's light on ingredients, and a little extra work could bring the flavor right out. Great! Then let's make some together! Our very own personalized pancakes! Sure! I got this! You're out, Alfin. I don't need spicy pancakes. <sighs> You're out too, Kisara. You'd win easily. Win what? Is it a competition? Yes! A contest between me, Xi'an, and Dohalim. Wait, what? I'm more of an eating specialist? You can say that again. <laughs> I accept any and all challenges. Great, then I'll be the judge. I can gather the ingredients. Okay, then it's on! Hey, uh, what about me? Maybe we'll have some luck finding what we need at the farm. Finally! If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. <laughs> right. Thanks. Oh! Whoa! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen! It's time to find out once and for all whose pancakes reign supreme! I guess he's emceeing now. Let's hear some thoughts from Kisara, our judge! Indeed. This is a highly eclectic group of competitors. I look forward to seeing what they produce for us today. Expectations sure are running high! Ah! And here comes Xion with her entry! I applied all of my know-how to this, and put extra care into the visual presentation. Well... that's bold. Nothing wrong with Xion holding her head high. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> hmm? What? I mixed in some candy that tingles the tongue. Oh, um, I see. It's creative. I'll give it that. But it's quite, uh, a mouthful, as it were. It... it might be too sweet. Well, I should hope so. I put in as much food and sugar as I could. It should provide three days' worth of nourishment. Uh, three days' worth? Our judge has been left stunned! And not in a good way. Now it's time for the Lord himself! Here is what I made. What? what the Dohalim pancakes! I can't believe he actually did the art. Go on, relish my crowning achievement to your heart's content. Well, don't mind if I do. Not even a moment's pause. 
Dohalim, there's some strange liquid leaking out of this. Indeed. I gather delicacies the world over and pack them all in. That's what makes my masterpiece so good. Pancakes are overrated anyways. And you're out. Defeat. And just like that, his lordship is disqualified! Ah, uh, what do I do? I... I just made regular old pancakes. They're both just so eccentric. And mine is so... How am I supposed to follow their acts? Rinwell, you're up! Okay, okay, I'm coming. Just putting on some finishing touches. Oh, Oodle. No, oh, you, your face. Whew. Are you sure? Well, okay. I, I'll never forget you, Hoodle. Yeah! Huh? Okay, made it. Here you go. Oh no, you didn't! Huh? <laughs> Never mind. Let's see what Judge Kisara thinks! Hmm, let's see. It's nice and soft around the edges, and yet there's a hoodle face firmly imprinted in the middle. The contrast of fluffiness and firmness is simply fascinating, and there's a sweet texture that's nicely offset by the jam's tartness. That, and it's the strangest thing, it gives me this odd sense of ardor and conviction. I give this a perfect winning score. <coughs> Renwell takes the title! Looks like you reign supreme over pancakedom. <sighs> I don't understand. I thought I'd gotten the look and taste perfect. <sighs> what could I have done wrong? Huh? Where's Kisara? She took off running to burn off the food she ate. I may have done her a disservice. I guess I was only thinking about what I personally would want to eat. You know, these other ones are actually pretty good. I could go for more of this texture and salty sweetness. I agree. Still, they pale next to Rinwell's pancakes. Yeah, no question there. In fact, I would love to partake in them again sometime. Ah! 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 Hmm? Whatever gave it such a fright? Uh, d don't worry about it. I'll draw all of your faces next time. I can't wait. You just draw them, right? Okay, whose turn is it to cook today? Nice try, Law. We all know it's your turn. Damn, was I that obvious? All right, guess I'll get to it. Wait, before you get started... Remember when the three of us fixed pancakes back on the farm? I remember how weirdly proud you were of yours. Wait, don't tell me you want a rematch. Oh, no, nothing like that. It's just, I've been thinking about something ever since that day. I used every trick in the book to make the perfect pancake, and yet... You're wondering why you lost, right? Pretty sure it's because you pumped Isara here with enough sugar to give a zoogle a... Anyways, I've come up with a recipe, and was hoping you guys could taste them and tell me what you think. All right, I'm up for round two. Challenge accepted. Wait, are we all doing this? 
Uh, come on. Shion's clearly put a lot of work into this. I'm sure they'll be great. Right, everyone? Thanks. Okay, wait here. I'll have them fixed up in just a few moments. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Here are your pancakes. I can't wait. Let's see how they taste. <sighs> Damn. The way these spices jump about in your mouth, you'd think they'd cancel each other out, but somehow they work brilliantly. They're so sweet, I feel like they'll melt in my mouth. Every bite makes me feel like I'm in heaven. Holy crap! These are so rich, just the way I like them! I can't stop stuffing them in my face! You chose the perfect ingredients and heated them just enough to bring out their flavor. Amazing! The presentation is simply exquisite, and they have such a pure, refined taste to them as well. They're, They're perfect. perfect! Shion, these pancakes are amazing! Really? I'm so glad they turned out well. Although, don't we all seem to have different impressions of how they actually taste? You're right. It's like everyone was eating something completely different. Here, let me take a bite of yours, Alfin. It's true. I fine-tuned them to suit each person's unique tastes. <laughs> You did that for everyone's pancakes? That must have been a lot of extra work. It was, but I learned something important in doing so. You see, I was so focused on trying to make something that I thought would please people, that I forgot to consider who I was actually serving. Here, water! <laughs> Thanks, Renwell. I thought I was a goner. What's important as a cook isn't what I want people to feel about my food. It's about accommodating what they're looking for in a meal. Well said, Xion. I'm so proud of you for figuring that out. No recipe is complete without love and care for whoever's eating it. Those alone make a dish taste better than any spice could. So one might say that what makes a meal are both those who prepare it and those who eat it rather than the food alone. How insightful. You've grown so much as a cook, Xion. I have nothing left to teach you. Oh, thank you, Master. Thank you so much. Uh. Hey, Xion. Got any requests for supper tonight? Me? Uh, not really. I'm fine with just about anything. Everything you cook is delicious. Well, thank you. Seeing you devour my food makes all the work I put into it well worth it. Uh, do I look that eager to you? Nothing wrong with that. We all have to eat to survive. It makes me happy to see people eat their fill on what I fix. I'm not sure how to respond to that. 